Application templates are a way to define common patterns and applications. These can be used to assist new users in onboarding their applications or to more tightly control governance across applications. Today I'll be showing you how to use the application wizard to create an application based on a template. First, we'll log in as an end user with limited permissions. Then, we need to navigate to our application tab where existing applications are displayed. Clicking the Create Application button will open a new dialog where we can define an application. If you make a choice for the application template, the dialog will shift into its wizard mode. Settings defined on the application template will be automatically set to the values on the template and become uneditable. Any property definitions defined on the template will appear in the form. On the second page of the wizard, you'll be prompted to add components to fulfill each required component tag. For example, here I require exactly one component tagged with DB and at least one component tagged with app. If your components have not yet been created, you can do so by clicking the Create Component button on the right. This will spawn a new dialog where you can fill out the typical Create Components form. However, you will be restricted to creating components from component templates with the specified tag here. Once we save and return, we can see that the component is added. On the third page, we can see entries for each of our environment templates. By default, they will all be selected, but you can optionally choose not to make environments for your application. Choosing not to make an environment at this point does not restrict you from doing so in the future. Environments that are selected will display fields for any properties defined by the environment template. Finally, on page 4, we'll be shown a list of environments and their associated resource trees, as well as a list of all agents the user has access to. As prompted, we'll want to fill in the agent prototypes in the resource tree for each environment. This is as easy as expanding the resource tree to the agent prototype row and dragging the agent you desire into the row. After doing that, you'll see that your agent is displayed under the prototype in the row. Hovering over your agent makes a small cross appear that you can click on in order to unmap the agent if you make a mistake. You should note that you can map any number of agents to each prototype node or any agent to as many prototype nodes as you desire. Once you've completed that page of the wizard, the configuration for your application is complete, and we can go look at our settings to see how everything is inherited. Clicking on configuration will show us the basic settings for the application. It should be noted that any settings from the template are still read-only for all users. Here we can see environment gates will be displayed, but the environments created from an environment template will only use the gates on that version of the template. Next, we can see all of the components have been correctly mapped to the application, including the new one we created during the wizard. Next, we can check that our application process has been inherited by the application. Doubling back to our environments page, we can look at one of our environments and see that the base resource tree has been created as we specified. Additionally, we can verify that we are using the approval process specified by the template. And finally, we can see that our environment configuration is all locked to the values specified in the template. Say that now you've finished creating your application, you decide that you need another environment. The Create Environment dialog will also allow you to use an environment template. Selecting this field removes the blueprint field and changes any settings inherited from the environment template to read only. Creating environments this way creates the base for the resource tree, but does not allow users to map agents at creation time. However, they can easily navigate into the environment afterwards and map agents from this screen. Placing agents at a level where an agent prototype was present in the resource template will cause component and component tag resources to automatically be mapped. At this point, assuming all of your components already have a version imported, you would be ready to run your application process on an environment. To sum this up, the application wizard can reduce the time and effort required to create applications by using application templates to define common configuration and processes between applications.